Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Mr. Invention Videos. Today I am at CCC Camp 707, later turned into a prisoner of war camp. And now it's abandoned. Looks like somebody was doing some metal detecting or something. As I see over here, there's like a whole bunch of cans and stuff. Oil cans? I did not do the metal detecting, but great to be here for the video. This is a truck grease rack. I've just been on these trails looking around this CCC camp. So, you probably don't know what a CCC camp is, so let me tell you. In the 1930s, America was in the Great Depression. So, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt started the CCC program to get people working, and when World War II hit, since uh, camps were primarily of young men, they needed those young men for war, and they had to go to World War II, and most of them were abandoned, but this one looks like was converted into a POW camp, based on what I've heard. So, this is the old truck repair shop, a little bit is left standing. So you can go here today. It's near Bina, Minnesota. Some more stuff that looks dug up. Or maybe not dug up, but I don't think they've been there right there for what 80 years. Yeah, so this place has a lot of history. like a brick that says Kel and some other stuff. This looks like it was the blacksmith shop. Okay. Not oh, nice stone structure. A lot of little pieces of stone that used to be big buildings back in the day. So yeah, this is just on the Third River Road, a little bit off of Minnesota Highway 46. It's a tool shed. So there's another part I'm going to show you later with the CCC Camp sign and everything. I've been to CCC Camp 708. Remember, this is 707. And that's like half of the buildings are still there. Because I was remodeled and used by the University of Michigan for a few years. This looks like uh, to be a big outhouse. Ah, darn it. Almost fell in there. Looks like I see remnants of old bottles down there, but I'm not gonna go in there. Might not get back out. That was the laundry room. Okay. There's another part I'm going to show. It's a little bit of a walk, but I'll show you it. Maybe that's a trail leading to it. What's this over here? Oh, the bakery. Don't look like a lot was made of cement. I wonder how they know these two holes in the ground were the bakery. Two or three. Must have some old photos. A lot of old photos. Oh, they got a whole tennis court here. Oh, that's a nice photo. Wow, look at it now. Just woods. I saw a sign back here. I I saw that sign. Shower. Oh, this is what I was thinking of. Does that say power plant? Yup, that says power plant. It's a no horses sign. And a big plaque here. Oh, Jesse Tower. Off. I 
think it's over there. In the woods over there. <sighs> huh. Here's the other part over by the car. Welcome to the Cutfoot Camp. Okay, so that's what they call this one, Cutfoot. Because this is a little ways from Bina, but a lot of things I've read about it is Bina. Oh, there's the rock. Went through this so fast. Oh. Barracks, number one. Kind of see the outline. Barracks too. It's making me think of that photo we saw earlier. It was maybe over here. That's that trail that I said might go over there. <sighs> Mess hall. You have the nice old circular steps and then nothing. Just. Staircase in the woods. Barracks three. So it looks like this is the second of the camp that had all the barracks. Barracks. And barracks four. Theater. And a theater. And you can see Steps up as well. The theater. The respite. Oh, some racks. What is this? The chimney? Looks like the chimney has seen better days. And how long ago it collapsed? Stone chimney in 19... 39. So that's big cedar. Hmm. In 1985. Chimney developed a lean over the years. In an attempt to ride it, the foundation broke. It was toppled for safety reasons. Sad. Well, I'm not really that sad, but. Oh. Something. Middle over there. So the old recreation hall. Maybe that's what the sun chimney photo was of. And what that is. Oh, and there's a can over there. Probably a lot of stuff in this old boot camp. Supply room. I was just a little, yeah, just a little supply room. You know, should probably mail detect this place one day. Orderly room. Huh. This is a nice little. Yeah, this is. What? Well, yeah, it's a nice history spot, nice cool history spot in the woods. Well, I think that's the end of this video, so see you next time. This is Minnesota Adventuring Videos.